United Nations in New York. It was presented during the 13th session of the United Nations Peacekeeping Commission, making presentation at the Pro Pro Agenda Foreign Ministry, Bezonga Finley, thanked the Chair of Liberia Configuration at the UN Peacekeeping Commission, Ambassador Olaf Skosh, for convening the meeting in the interest of the country. Minister Finney told the gathering that peace building and the consolidation of peace and economic development are essential to the priorities of the government of Liberia. The Ministry of Finance and Development Planning, along with its partners, has ended a two-day business climate working group gathering in Ganta, Nima County. According to our correspondent, the Business Climate Forum disclosed issues rel relative to getting loans from commercial banks in Liberia. The Business Climate Forum brought together several sectors, including the judiciary, banking institutions, and Liberia's development partners. Our correspondent said there were lots of presentations made on challenges facing the business sector with some recommendations advanced for improvement. Several vulnerable women in two districts in Lofa County have been empowered by a local NGO foundation for women and children operating in that country. The two districts are Quarry Warden and Van Jaman District. According to ELBC Upper Lofa County correspondent, the foundation provided the women with funding on its micro loan scheme and agriculture implements. Our correspondent said the money given the women is in the interest of free loan. He said the initiative by the Foundation for Women and Children is intended to reduce poverty amongst vulnerable women and children as well as those affected by the Ebola outbreak. Monserrado County District 4 representative Rostalyn Dennis has assured the Liberia Electricity Corporation that she will campaign, that she will, she will champion the bill which seeks to make power theft an economic crime. Representative Dennis made the assurance recently during a town hall meeting between residents of the Soul Clinic community and the outreach team of the Liberia Electricity Corporation. The lawmaker declared power theft as an epidemic that is seriously undermining the economy and government's development programs. According to Madam Dennis, the issue of power theft is undermining the LEC ability to connect new customers to the national power grid. Reports from lower Monsef, that's my Gibi County, say many in service teachers and those wanting to become professional teachers will soon benefit from Lacoste's teacher training program. According to our lower my Gibi County correspondent, the Teachers Training College has established an AA program for teachers in the area. Our correspondent coach, the coordinator of Lacoste's, James Molu, has said the extension of the program is to strengthen the education sector in that part of the county. Our correspondent said teachers in Habel, Cotton Tree, and other communities are expected to benefit from the program. And briefly from Liberia, the Ghanaian president has apologized to people with disabilities over the use of words blind and deaf in a political speech on last week. Nana Akofo Ado was at the new Patriotic Party rally on Thursday when he said his government had fulfilled 41 promises it made to Ghanaians and added that only the blind and deaf would even know that the promises had been fulfilled. The Ghana, the Ghana Federation of Disability Organization expressed their disappointment over the president's use of the words deaf and blind. Mr. Akofo Ado apologized for any in internet slight on Sunday night on his official Facebook page. I am Cecilia Clark with the LNTV News Update. Next is the news with the language announcer. <laughs> Thank you.
breaking the news. Get the fight. Know the stories. Exclusively on LNTV News Update. Be the first to know.